I often see sharks I recognize through the months. This is one of them. Notice the two scars on its pectoral fin, likely from an encounter with another shark or a seal. This is a natural scar. But not all scars are natural, and unfortunately, I'm witnessing more and more human-induced scars and injuries on white sharks. Recently, I had a viewer tell me that there may be targeted white shark fishing occurring off the California coast. So I set out to find proof. And this week, I found this one. It's a tagged shark, one I've seen many times before. But this time, it has a large hook in its mouth. And this is no ordinary hook. This is a very large J-hook, the type used purposely to catch a very large fish. Somebody is trying to catch white sharks. And sharks with hooks in their mouths can easily become agitated sharks. In fact, one recent shark attack in California was the result of a white shark having been hooked and agitated in an area with swimmers nearby. Here's another shark. This time, it's not a hook. This shark is actually wrapped in a heavy fishing line, causing the line to rip into its skin. I asked the scientists at the shark lab at California State University Long Beach to review the footage. They were able to confirm that this is an example of fishing line wrapped around a shark. Here's another shark. Notice the dark patch just in front of the dorsal fin. This is likely a boat strike scar. Allison Towner, a shark biologist in South Africa who co-wrote a study on shark prop strikes and their healing process brought this to my attention after I shared the footage with her. It's thought that white sharks are not as likely to get struck by a boat as dolphins or whales, but I've often witnessed reckless boat behavior, and this certainly puts that train of thought to doubt. Just watch this boat speed through a beach near shore. There are four sharks in total in this clip. The unfortunate thing about this is that this behavior comes from a boat allegedly giving shark tours. Right here, it comes extremely close to hitting not one, but two sharks. That was a close call. But it proves that sharks may actually get struck easier than once believed. But it's not just humans in boats chasing sharks. Sometimes it's humans on paddle boards. Here's an example. While paddleboarding in itself is not necessarily a disturbance to the sharks, actively chasing them into shallow waters can be a problematic situation. Notice the children about to enter the water at the top of the frame while the paddleboarders chase the shark into the shallow water. As a parent, would you want paddleboarders chasing sharks into the shallows? As you can see here, the shark did not want anything to do with the humans. And yet I witnessed this activity for nearly 20 minutes as the shark was chased back and forth along the beach. The following clip is probably the single largest example why as beachgoers, respecting these animals is vital. Perhaps pursuing the sharks is not the best way to coexist with them. Remember the shark with the two scars? Here it is again. This time, it made me a bit concerned as I filmed it. This shark is not agitated, but I can't help but imagine if a situation like this would be different if this shark was being pursued or agitated, or maybe if it had a giant hook in its mouth. Who knows, but the reality is this is another shark encounter where the shark did not show aggression. However, it does underscore the fact that we are in the presence of an apex predator. Looking at this again, you'll notice one of the kids turns his head three times. That's because I'm standing on shore yelling at him and giving the universal shark sign. But they did not respond. 
I spoke to the kids afterward and advised them to not go too far into the water for the time being. I did not find their parents. The kids, they actually went back in. They just didn't go as far as they were. As a reminder, I am not a marine biologist, but I do provide data to scientists around the world. I encourage independent verification of everything on this channel, and I encourage you to read the citations in the video description below. And if you like this content, please subscribe. I've also attached some links to organizations that are actively involved in protecting our oceans. Please pay them a visit.